in this video, we're going to look at the importance of choosing the right location for a business. By location, we mean the physical space that a business operates from, which could be a shop, office, factory, warehouse, workshop, or other space, depending on the type of business. Getting the location right can have a big impact on the success of your business in terms of sales, costs, and your brand image. We'll start by considering the business location in terms of its closeness, or we tend to say proximity, to customers, competitors, materials, labour and infrastructure. Let's look at the first factor a business has to take into consideration when deciding on its location, which is proximity to the market, or in other words, how close they are to the customers. This factor will vary considerably depending on the type of business. Traditionally, retail businesses tend to focus on locations near their customers because they need this footfall. That location might be very different for different kinds of retailers. A brand might want to have premises in a major shopping centre as this would have a positive impact on people's perception of their brand. And they know that large numbers of people go there to shop as a leisure experience. Luxury brands such as Burberry have stores on London's swanky Bond Street, as this is seen as a high-status, prestigious address that attracts wealthy and aspirational customers. Another example is that food and drink outlets such as restaurants, pubs and takeaways would generally look to be located in busy areas as they rely on people going into their premises and they hope by being in these busy areas that customers will come flocking in. To all the teachers out there, show all of these videos without any ads and gain access to our growing library of over 500 teaching worksheets. Why not visit bizwizard.co.uk to find out more? With the growth of the internet though, physical location has become less important for many businesses around the country and even the globe. Amazon is the biggest online retailer in the UK and has customers all over the country, but they tend to locate their distribution centers in out of town locations with low property costs and good transport networks. Other retailers have a combination of prime high street locations for customers who want to buy in person and an out of town distribution center for their e-commerce sales when customers have purchased online. Some retailers are moving away from physical stores completely, such as the clothes retailer Gap, as they realize many customers are now more and more confident with purchasing online. Even takeaways are taking advantage of the growth of e-commerce and m-commerce, and this can now be a factor in the decision of where to locate. Some takeaway businesses even choose to locate on industrial estates and focus on home deliveries rather than having shop fronts where customers can come and collect their orders. Some service businesses such as hairdressers, plumbers and electricians will typically be located near to their customers as the service is delivered in person. Other services such as a graphic designer can provide a large number of their services online so being physically close to their customer is less of an issue. If you think about it in theory, they can work in a different part of the country or even anywhere in the world. There are now even online-only banks, such as Stalin or Monzo, that don't have any physical high street branches. And many insurance companies work the same way. Instead of paying for expensive premises near to their customers, they can reduce their business costs by having call centers and offices in cheaper areas. You might think that most businesses would want to be located as far away from their competitors as possible so they can have all the business for themselves. In some cases, that makes perfect sense. So there's probably not much point opening a local newsagent's right next to another newsagent's shop. Instead, it's better to find another location close to people's homes, but not so close to the competition. However, as we've seen, many businesses want to be near their customers, and it's unlikely that they'll find a location that isn't also attractive to their competitors. 
it's unlikely that Next will be the only closed shop in a shopping centre, or that Pizza Express will be the only restaurant in the town centre. You'll usually find that there is a variety of outlets grouped together in a certain location, because that's where the market is. And all businesses want to attract customers and make a profit. If you open a coffee shop between a Costa and a Cafe Nero, many would consider this madness. But at least you know many customers are now heading there to get a coffee. So all you have to do is now convince them to come into your shop instead of these rivals. Next, let's look at the importance of proximity to materials for a business. It's really important for some businesses to be located to the raw materials that they use, particularly in manufacturing. This means they can save money on transport and storage of these raw materials. That's why a lot of the UK steel and iron industry was historically based in the city of Sheffield. The raw materials of iron ore and coal were mined locally, so it made sense for manufacturers of iron and steel products such as cutlery and railway tracks to be based in that area near to the raw materials that they use. Some businesses will base their location on the natural resources in the area. So a wind farm will usually be based in a hilly exposed area that gets lots of wind. And farms will usually be located in areas with good soil for growing high quality crops and raising animals. Moving on, another important factor for many businesses when choosing their location is its proximity to labour meaning how close they are to potential workers, and this is often based on the skills required, costs involved, or the availability of the necessary workforce. You've probably heard of Silicon Valley. This is an area in California in the USA, famous for technology and innovation. The local universities have a reputation for producing highly skilled graduates, and many high-profile tech companies are based in the area including big names such as eBay, PayPal, Facebook, Netflix, Google and Tesla. This makes it a very attractive area for skilled people who want to work for these types of companies to live in. In turn, having many highly skilled potential employees living close by makes it an attractive place for new high-tech companies to base themselves. The likes of Tesla and Netflix have chosen their location so that they can be closer to the best labour, rather than being close to their customers. Other businesses may choose a location because there is cheaper labour. For example, a distribution centre or factory may open in an area of the country with high levels of unemployment. Wages are likely to be cheaper here than in an area with low unemployment and there will be more people available to actually do the work. Some businesses choose to locate parts of their business overseas, often in developing countries where costs are much lower. Many UK businesses have call centres overseas, often in countries with a large English-speaking population, such as in India. Bring this video and over a hundred more to life with fun, interactive games, quizzes, and case studies. Why not try the first 25 completely free by visiting bizwizard.co.uk. Finally, we will look at the factor of infrastructure, including transport links, government policy, and technology. All of this can be a significant factor in choosing a business location. Having the right transport links, by air, sea, rail or road, can make it easier to get goods to and from a business location. This is what we call logistics, and being close to these links can reduce costs and lead to increased sales. Good air and sea links may be particularly important for businesses involved in importing or exporting. Transport links are also key when it comes to attracting staff and customers. Being close to accessible public transport or having good on-site car parking may be a factor in whether customers choose you over your competitors or whether staff to decide to work for you or somewhere else more convenient and more easily accessible. Technology can be an important factor in business location. Most businesses need to operate online to some degree, 
so good high-speed fibre broadband will put them at an advantage. Businesses rely increasingly on communication networks such as the internet and mobile phone networks to allow some or all of their staff to work remotely, meaning many of them can work from home or actually from anywhere. This may mean that the physical location and size of a company's premises isn't as important as it once was. Government policy may influence a business's choice of location. For example, they may receive financial support if they decide to locate in an area with economic challenges. Businesses may also choose to locate overseas to avoid tariffs or to pay lower taxes. Or they may be attracted by grants, particularly if the location has the right raw materials, labour force, and that there's actually a new market for their product. Each of the video courses over at bizwizard.co.uk also includes an interactive business case study that applies the knowledge learned to a real-world scenario. There are over 1,000 multiple-choice questions, each with detailed feedback, which tests students' understanding of the content. Why not visit bizwizard.co.uk to find out more? So, it's about time we meet this video's main example. This is Chip O'Hara, the owner of Top Notch Timber, a lumberyard in Scotland. When Chip was deciding where his business should be located, he had three possible woodland sites to choose from. There are a number of possible manufacturers that they could supply in their area, including construction companies, shed manufacturers and furniture repair stores. Location 1 is near to the open countryside. It's not far from the motorway that runs through the area, so it ticks the box in terms of having good transport links for shipping out timber to customers. It is a long way from residential areas though, which means that prospective employees who have a car could get to work However, there's no public transport in the area, which might mean that it's hard to find and attract the necessary staff. With location two, well, this is pretty close to the town centre, and it is on a bus route, as well as being within walking distance from a residential area. So there is a large number of potential employees who could easily get to work. There is a furniture repair shop nearby, but it's a reasonable distance from the motorway which can only be accessed by driving through the town centre, which will often get pretty congested and can really slow things down. Now, finally, with location three, while well, this lies halfway between the town centre and the motorway. It's on a bus route from the town centre, and there's also a new housing development about a mile away, which is on that same route meaning it's pretty easy for staff to get there and there's a lot of people who might potentially be interested in working at the business. It's easy to get to both the motorway and the town centre and there's an industrial estate nearby which is home to a major construction company that could potentially be one of Top Notch Timber's biggest customers. The only drawback is that the furniture repair shop can now only be accessed by driving through the town centre. After weighing up the three locations, Chip decided that the best location for top-notch timber is location three. It's near to a good potential supply of employees, it's got the best transport links for both staff and goods, and it's near to a couple of major potential customers. So, every business is different, and in every situation, they will need to weigh up which factors are the most important to allow their business to be as effective as possible when choosing their location to have the best chance of success. They'll need to consider proximity. How close do they need to be to their market? Labour, materials and competitors which will depend on which of these has the biggest impact on their specific business. This will vary depending on the type of business activity. Retail, service and manufacturing businesses will all have different impacts and different priorities to consider. Remember, location decisions have been hugely impacted by the growth of the internet. Many businesses will need to decide whether they need fixed premises, an e-commerce online offer, or a combination of the two. Some businesses may not need physical premises at all if all the staff can work remotely. So, 
If you get an exam question about business location, it's best to think in terms of proximity, business type, and the impact of e-commerce, and how that applies in the scenario that you've been given. Think about the customers, competitors, materials, labor, and infrastructure, and how each will impact the sales, cost, and image of the business. This should help you to really bring your answer to life, link it to the business in the case study, and pick up those important application marks. This has been the Biz Wizard. See you in the next video.